Hello, this is Nick with Nick'sComputerFix.com and here's a video on Windows Movie Maker that shows you some tips and tricks and a few how-to's. Okay, to begin with, if by some chance you don't have Windows Movie Maker installed on your computer or you require the latest version of it, the way you go about getting it is to open up an internet browser and once you have that open go out to Microsoft website and this is the address you want to go to and I'll also put this address in my description on my video once here you click on the download now and that will start downloading the Windows Movie Maker 12 and that's included in the Windows Essentials 2012 package once you have uh, Windows Movie Maker installed we can go ahead and open it up by going to our app screen from our Windows 8.1 start screen and we do that by going down here and clicking on the down arrow here and once the app screen is open we go ahead and locate our movie maker and click on it and that opens up Windows Movie Maker right into our Windows 8.1 desktop where I can go ahead and click here to browse for videos and photos and that opens up the add videos and photos window and once open I can go into the video um, folder here and uh, grab one of the videos that I have already created and upload it to YouTube how to connect a laptop to a TV and I can go ahead and click open here and that brings it right into uh, Microsoft Windows Movie Maker and I can see it in the preview window on the left hand side here and a thumbnail of the video where I can move this uh, positional editing line tool here anywhere in the video to edit it and I can also watch the video in the preview this is Nick with Nick'sComputerFix.com and here's a video on how to connect a laptop to your TV using an HDMI cable now one of the things that you probably have noticed right off the bat is that the video thumbnail up here is relatively small and it's hard to see especially if you're going to use that to edit the video with the solution is come down here and we can make the um, thumbnail larger or we can come down here and make it the largest possible and that way when we move the um, editing uh, line tool here on the video it's easier to see and we can also right click and get a menu while we're on the video and we can do a lot of stuff here and one of them is that we can splice the uh, video into two separate scenes and we can add a transition between the two scenes within our project if we like okay let's go ahead and take a quick look at our ribbon tools menu up here and we have the paste cut and copy from the clipboard and then I'll cop, uh, paste or cut or copy the contents of the clipboard into our project to add a video or a photograph we click there and uh, I'm gonna add a picture I'm gonna click on picture and uh, earlier I took a snapshot and I'll tell you how I did that in a second and uh, I'll select that and I'll click on open and now place that uh, image into my video project now the way I got that snapshot earlier is where I had my video um, editing line tool position I clicked on snapshot and that created the um, image for me now to add voice you just click here and you do need a mic and if you have a webcam you can add a uh, webcam video but I don't have mine uh, hooked up to my laptop right now so I'm gonna hit close that's why I got this error alright next item is title which allows me to go ahead and add text um, to the video and in this case the beginning of the video which is the title and I'm gonna type in laptop to TV HDMI and that's gonna be the name of this video um, for this demo and I can change the font and I can change the font size and I can also um, make it left justified center or right justified as well and then over here I can edit the text anytime I like and I can change the background color and um, I can also change the duration of the title um, to determine how long I want it to uh, be in the video um, and remain being seen now over here um, special effects for the title are pretty cool there's a lot of them to take a look at and uh, I like that about the um, Windows Movie Maker gives you lots of options on special effects which uh, 
gives you uh, the ability to customize your video just the way you like it. And then over here you can add an outline and color to your text as well. Okay, before we go over some of the other tools under the Home tab, let's go over to the File menu here. And in some versions of Movie Maker, it's a drop-down arrow. I want to emphasize that if you decided that your video is finished um, being edited, um, you need to save the project or save the project as. That way, um, if you close out um, Movie Maker, you can come back in and um, edit your video again, and all the uh, changes will have been saved. Saved. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the other useful tools under the Home tab that you're going to be using. Especially for your title text, once you created your title and then you adjusted the duration of how long it's going to stay on your video, you can add special effects to your um, title text, which is pretty cool under Auto Movie Themes. There's a lot of them. I like them and uh, I definitely suggest checking them out. You can rotate and you can remove and uh, you can select all and uh, you can also um, under share you can upload it to the cloud or you can uh, share it on Facebook or upload it to YouTube but before you share it um, you do need to save it as a movie it's called rendering and it puts it in an mp4 format for you and I always su suggest to uh, take the recommended settings here and use that one right here okay um, next under animations um, I earlier at the beginning of this uh, video split the uh, video into two different scenes and this is where you can put a transition between the two scenes and apply it and under visual effects you can uh, make the video do um, a lot of different things here and uh, they're pretty cool um, check them out um, you might find one that you like and absolutely go crazy with the special effects in Movie Maker and uh, adjust the brightness as well okay next under the project tab you can emphasize your voice on the video or you can emphasize the video or you can emphasize the music on the video if you've added uh, music and uh, if you don't want to emphasize anything of course you can click uh, no um, emphasis at all and you can also this is really important adjust this to widescreen or standard 16.9 is high definition so I suggest leaving it at 16.9 okay let's go ahead and take a look at the view tab here and uh, I'll click on that now the view tab um, is only for viewing you can't really make any changes you can uh, zoom in you can zoom out um, you can reset the view and this is for the editing view on the right hand side here and down here this lever will adjust it um, if you don't use the view tab tools and um, you can adjust the thumbnail size as well um, earlier at the beginning of the video I did it down here if you can recall and I'll change it back to extra large um, thumbnail size all right and the last thing is waveforms you can um, view the waveforms right here underneath the uh, video clips if you like okay um, the last item here under video tools is edit and the first one is the video volume that you can adjust and then you can adjust the volume um, on scenes to fade in and fade out and then over here is my favorite tool um, within Movie Maker. I can uh, speed up or slow down the video. And then over here I have my trim tools. And uh, I can set the start point on my trim. And I can um, set my end point on my trim as well. Now over here the last item is the video stabilization. Um, if you have a shaky hand when you're um, taking your video um, with your camera, this can adjust it and stabilize it for you. Okay, once you have finished editing your video and you've uh, finished everything that you want to do to it, the next step would be to create a movie out of the video. And what we want to do is render the video into a movie format and the way we go about doing that is come over here and click on save movie 
and then uh, you click on one of these options here but I always recommend uh, selecting the one that Windows Movie Maker um, recommends and this one's 1280 by 720 and uh, I suggest that you always save it as an MPEG-4 that's the high definition uh, video format um, if you don't you can always uh, choose to uh, save it as a Windows Media video if you like but the uh, clarity won't be as good and then uh, I'm going to name it My Movie 1. You name it whatever you like. And I'm going to click on Save. And that begins the rendering process. And what that means is that it's creating your movie and converting the video into an MPEG-4 um, video movie format for you. Okay, um, I'm not going to sit here and uh, waste your time letting you watch the progress bar move across. So I'm going to say Cancel because it is going to take a while and I am going to say uh, yes I do want to cancel this so I'll click on that alright um, that's um, how you go about creating your movie and using uh, Windows Movie Maker um, thanks for watching and I hope you got some useful information from my video tutorial subscribe and like my video